What could I have done then? And what should I do now? So it does not result in this ultimate evil. Irving Roth, a beloved friend, husband, father, and brother, passed away on February 16, 2021. Irving was a Holocaust survivor and educator who taught us that good can overcome evil and love can overpower hate. Although he endured unimaginable cruelty, Irving was a beacon of light shining into the darkness. Dedicating his life to doing his part to ensure the evils of the Holocaust never happen again, Irving's story will not be forgotten. Irving taught us the Holocaust began with words. Irving aimed to impress upon everyone he met that we cannot be bystanders when hatred and bigotry arise in our midst. We must be informed and then we must intervene on behalf of the Jewish people when they are attacked so that never again is more than a wish, it is a promise and a vow. Irving lived a life marked by love, hope, and resilience, making a profound impact on everyone privileged to hear him speak. Over the past 11 years, Irving spoke at over 400 CUFI events reaching countless individuals with his message. He led CUFI members through the death camps in Poland and taught them that the world's greatest genocide was rooted in ignorance, hatred, and apathy. Irving reminded us every day that we must refuse to be silent in the face of such evil. Now, may his memory be a blessing to us all and may his message live on through CUFI's 10 million members. We will remember the life and work of Irving Roth, and we commit to carrying on his life's work with the promise of never again. In Irving's sacred memory, we will defend Israel and the Jewish people and do all we can to combat indifference and confront anti-Semitism. For Zion's sake, we will neither rest nor be silent. Your presence here has taken the words never again and making reality from it. And for that, I'm thankful to you. The Jewish people is thankful to you. And I believe that humanity to be thankful. You are the righteous of the world. Heavy burden. But I know, deep in my heart, you're up to the task. And that gives me hope for the future. And I love you.